Uh, this story is called uh, The Velociraptor's Claw. <clears throat> a story about a kidney stone. Uh, the way you find out uh, that you have a kidney stone is uh, pain. Uh, one, one, uh, one, I never had had a kidney stone in my life. I never had thought about kidney stones or anything like that. I woke up uh, one morning and I had pain. I mean, I, I had huge, amazing uh, pain in my guts. Uh, and I, I had had pain before, but, uh, you know, uh, n nothing like this. I mean, I, I had headaches, and, you know, tummy aches. I've fallen down, you know, got bruises and scratches. And, but this, 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 this was, uh, this was uh, crazy, uh, crazy, insane pain. And it was, it was in my guts. And so, you know, I, I got to go to the emergency ward, honey. My, my wife, I, you know, we go to the emergency ward and, and this, uh, they, there's this uh, emergency, war, uh, emergency ward doctor, it's this woman, this kind of attractive uh, a woman, and she, she listens to my uh, symptoms, and she says, um, you know what, sir, I bet you've got a kidney stone. And I'm, you know, huh? And um, she's, we'll send you to x-rays, and we'll just see. And, I'm, uh, you know, I'm hurting, pain, you know, and uh, a male nurse, uh, uh, I guess he's a nurse aide, he, he comes in and he puts me in a wheelchair and he takes me to x-ray and, you know, the x-ray technician, and, you know, x-rays me a bunch of times and you know, my, my midsection, you know, and, and the guy uh, wheels me back to my uh, room and uh, I'm just, I'm in there and I'm in pain, you know, and, uh, and, and after a little bit, the uh, male nurse, he pops in and he's seen my x-ray and, and he says to me, uh, uh, your, your, your kidneys, uh, sir, are full of kidney stones. Uh, and eventually, uh, and you know what I always think? I think they're like, they're like little uh, anti-personnel bombs uh, just waiting to explode. And he seems to find this hilarious and away he goes. And I'm like, you know, anti-personnel bombs and, and geez, and, and, and the nurse comes, or, or the doctor comes in this, uh, and, and her, her manner is very sweet and kind. And, and she shoes him away, you know, and um, she says, well, sir, uh, and she's got the X-rays, and she puts the X-ray up on this uh, kind of light-up screen, and uh, you, you've got a, you've got a kidney stone uh, stuck in your ureter. I had never heard this expression before. You, you ureter, uh, and it turns out a ureter is is a, it's like a long tube that connects uh, each kidney is connected to the bladder, and the tube that connects the kidney and the bladder is called the ureter. And what's happened is uh, is a stone uh, in my in my kidneys, and apparently I, I do have more than one stone in there. Who who knew? But uh, it has gotten out, has popped out of the kidney, and it got into the ureter, but it got stuck, uh, and and that's what's causing the pain. The, the urine would normally come down through the ureter and exit out the bladder, but now it's backing up into the kidney, and that's why you are in a world of uh, of pain. And uh, she, she shows me uh, she shows me the X-ray. She says, "You see that little kind of whitish blur there? There, that that's that's your kidney stone." And she says, "It looks like a comma, like, uh, or maybe like a kind of a bent baseball bat." And I'm I'm trying to you know, and uh, you know what she says? Have you ever seen Jurassic Park? You, you know what that looks like? That 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 looks like uh, you, you know the Velociraptor. That looks like a Velociraptor's claw. Say so, see that, see that, and I'm like ah, you know. And um, but she tells me, well, you know, calm down. Uh, we have painkillers. We have really powerful uh, uh, painkillers. This is the land of modern medicine, and you're in good hands. And so she gives me a prescription for uh, hydro. What are they called? Hydrocodone. Hydrocodone which turns out to be a uh, narcotic. I mean, it is a very powerful uh, painkiller. So I, and the, and the drug, I go to the druggist and I get my, get my pills and, uh, well, she's already given me something and the pain is like going away. And uh, I go to the druggist and I, I get a prescription for this stuff. And then the druggist says, well, you don't want to be careful with this stuff, uh, uh, sir. They, um, they cause constipation. I mean, they're really good for pain, uh, but uh, they do cause uh, constipation. Of course, they're addictive if you, if you, if you take, enough. I don't care. I don't care. I'm willing to be an addict for the rest of my life. I want, uh, I'm in the world of pain and I, I, I go home and uh, I, I take two. You're supposed to just take one. I, you know, I, I, I take two and oh my God, oh my God, I love hydrocodone. It, uh, the pain is just, it just sort of goes away. It's like I'm floating, you know, and it's, it's just so wonderful to be more or less free of pain after what I've gone through. I'm just, I'm just sort of thrilled. And 
And, and I think it's going to be over, you know, in a, in a day or two. And one day goes by, two days goes by, and I'm still taking these pills and three days. And it's still stuck inside me, you know, four days goes by. And it's still, uh, it's still, I, I'm teaching, I'm a professor, I'm, I'm, I'm full of pain medicine, I'm teaching, you know, I'm having lunch with my friends, I'm hanging out with my family, and the whole time I'm high as a kite on these, on these hardcore painkillers. And uh, after, um, you know, like five days, I tell my wife, well, you know, um, honey, um, I haven't, you know, lately, uh, in fact, for like five days, I haven't really, you know, pooped. Uh, I haven't had a bowel movement. She goes, what do you mean? Not at all? And I say, well, no, not, geez, she says. And so she gets on the phone. She calls up a friend of hers who's a nurse. And the nurse goes, whoa, well, you know, it's kind of hardcore pills that give you constipation. You know, the guy needs to poop. And well, and so I, uh, she tells us to get, uh, I think it was milk of magnesia, Philips milk of magnesia, this bottle. And I drink a few slugs of this stuff. And um, man. Nothing, and then rumbling. I mean, my tummy is like rumbling. Like, oh my God, it's like uh, it's like a, like an earthquake, you know, like seven point zero on the Richter scale. And I'm whoa! I run for the the toilet, and oh my God, it's like five days of, you know what? And uh, you know, think of Niagara Falls. You know, think of uh, I don't know, Old Faithful in reverse or something. It's coming out of your behind and. Uh, Oh, oh, I forgot to tell you about the strainer. Uh, the emergency doc, uh, she, she gave me this little, uh, this little strainer, and she tells me uh, that when I pee, I should pee into the strainer. It's this little wire mesh uh, uh, strainer, so I can catch the stone when it comes out. It'll come out uh, with the urine, and it'll end up in that strainer, and then I can give it to my urologist, and my urologist can send it off somewhere to be tested. And why the hell do you need to do this? I have no idea. But uh, every time I pee, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm peeing into this uh, little uh, little strainer. I'm, I'm carrying around my little strainer in a, in a, in a sack, you know, and don't want to, you know, what, what's in that sack? And shut up. I don't, never mind what's in my sack, you know. And uh, I'm going to, I, when I'm at work, I'm going to urinals, you know, public urinals. Uh, I mean, I can't go to those because I think, geez, you know, somebody's going to see me peeing into a urinal. And then, what the hell is he doing? What's he got with that sack? And so I'm going into the stalls, you know, and, and every single time I pee, and then there's, you know, six days goes by, a week goes by, eight days, and uh, um, I'm still taking painkillers, and I'm still peeing into the strainer. And on the ninth day, the pain, all of a sudden I become aware, the pain is gone. I mean, I mean, for 90s I've been taking painkillers, and the pain has been kept at bay, but it's always, it's like static, you know, and the I know it's there. I can't exactly feel it, but it's sort of like I can kind of feel it. It's like rain on the roof. You know, you're inside, you're dry, but you, you hear that rain. And, and now it's like the static is gone. The, the rain has has stopped. So, I, I you know, I go to the nearest restroom. I pee, you know, into the strainer and, and you know, nothing. There's nothing in the strainer. And uh, I think, you know, somehow uh, it has escaped me. My stone has gotten out of me and it's exited the building. And I must have missed it. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of regretful. And so I go home that night, you know, and I, I, one, I think I'll pee one more time into the strainer. And I pee into the strainer and damn. I look down into the strainer and there it is. The Velociraptor's claw. It's about uh, about that long. I don't know that long. It's got like a little ball bearing at one end, you know, and a kind of curved uh, claw. You know, one of the big regrets of my life is uh, I gave it to your, my urologist, and he set it off to be tested. And and man. If I could, if I could have one souvenir that I that I don't have, I, I wish I still had it, the Velociraptor's claw.